Hello Pisces, this is your reading for the 21st to the 31st. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and we'll go ahead and get started with the Celtic Cross. Let's see, what love messages do we have for Pisces? Surrounding energy is a Ten of Wands. Feeling... I'm, I'm feeling you guys are way down and feeling like you're having to, you know, carry something all by yourself. There's a Sagittarian energy here. Um, but I'm feeling that you're getting overwhelmed here. This crossing Pisces, the Four of Cups, Cancer energy. Hmm. This could be somebody that you guys have tried your best to make it work with and this person is not putting in the effort that you are putting in. So you're feeling like you're like you're in it all by yourself, like you're doing all of the work. The underlying issue here is that you guys definitely feel rejected. Um, this could be a financial situation where you're feeling like, you know, all the financial responsibility is falling on your shoulders that you guys are not in this together. But more so than that, you feel like you, you guys are not moving in the same direction. You're not doing the same things. You're, you're not having an equal exchange of energy as far as a connection is concerned. That is all on you. Let's see. In the recent past, we have a Five of Swords. Hmm. Sorry, guys. Hold on one second for me. But um, with the Five of Swords energy <clears throat> in the recent past, you know, there, there's a lot of, I feel, conflict going on between you and this person. Um, maybe not enough time being put into a situation to actually talk things out in a very logical way. Feeling very hurt by somebody's words even. Okay, maybe there is a lack of communication, a lack of effort on this other person's part that you're feeling. I'm feeling like there is a disconnect or a breakup um, if it hadn't already happened is coming. Okay, I'm feeling that. Your crowning thoughts here. It's a devil. You don't know how to get away from this. I'm feeling that you want to let go. You don't know how. Um, there's a lot of toxic uh, energy between you and this person. You feel attached to them. Hmm. Very strongly attached to them. You just don't know how to let go. What's coming in for you is the hanged man. I feel like you've done everything that you can do, honestly. Because this is your card. Um, I think it is time for you to kind of take your hands off of this and kind of go with the flow. And not try to force anything. Okay. It's time for you to take a step back. Because I feel like you've been really sacrificing yourself um, for this connection. Okay. Let's see how you're viewing this. It's the King of Wands. Hmm. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy here. You feel like it's up to you um, to make a change in this situation because you're seeing things for what they really are but I think this attachment to this person is what's keeping you there you don't even know why you're so attached to them why it's hard to let go but it you know what you need to do in this situation you know that um, 
you're basically carrying this connection and that you really need to do what's right for you you know hmm. what is the influence here the four of pentacles I feel like there's somebody that's very that's very closed off that's not willing to share not willing to give of themselves um, they do expect for you guys to put in a lot more effort um, and you're holding on you're you're you are holding on to this situation I feel you don't want to let it go I don't see any cups here but the four of cups energy and that is this individual just really feeling complacent um, guarded feeling like you know they're not comfortable really sharing a lot of their emotions nor their time uh, to this connection I I'm feeling like this selfish type energy coming from this individual hmm or hopes or fears the tower you guys I want this to be over you don't want to break up you don't want to break up hmm you don't want you it's like you don't want your world to come crashing down and I so get that um, I'm feeling like maybe you guys have been together with this person for a while and it's hard to let go. It's hard to, you know, to just realize and come to grips with just that things are not working. Okay. And that you're sacrificing yourself here. That it's time for you to realize that you can't be in this by yourself. You have to have somebody that is, you know, in it to win it with you that's wanting to have an equal exchange with you and not expect for you to do all of the work and carry all of the burden of this relationship. That maybe it's time to be single for a while and, you know, just kind of work on yourself. Okay. Let's see what the overall is here. This is Scorpio energy. And this is Capricorn energy here. What is the overall outcome for Pisces? Oh, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Strong Capricorn energy in your reading, I feel. Capricorn Taurus energy. Um, but this is finding stability. This is being more open um, and taking care of the things that you need to take care of. I feel, I'm feeling like um, there's somebody that I feel is coming in for you energetically uh, and they're realizing that they need to devote more time to this connection, be more supportive, um, possibly more emotional, you know, be more open, be more receptive in this situation. Because what I'm getting is that not only are you guys having a hard time detaching, so is this person. So is this person. And I feel like they are holding on to this relationship too, energetically. And that's probably why you are having a hard time detaching. Maybe you guys are, some of you are still with this individual. And really, you know, things are not working the way that you feel like they should. And you guys are just still together. Not really wanting to break up because you're used to each other even. Hmm. But this person feels strongly attached to you too, and that's probably why um, you're having a hard time letting go of this situation. And I feel like for some of you, you know, this is a very strong um, or committed relationship. You guys may have been together for a while, but I do feel like um, there there is an emotional connection that's lacking here. And I think that's where the issue is. That the emotional 
the connection is lacking the um, the communication is probably kind of harsh or non-existent even um, there's not a lot of time being spent with each other I feel not a lot of quality time being spent with each other okay so that is what I have for you guys and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon bye now